Hello, welcome back. This is uh, stoichiometry video number four. And so in this we'll be solving uh, the last of the stoichiometry problems on your sheet. And so this one requires you to do several things. You have to set up and balance an equation. Uh, you have to figure out limiting an excess reactant. And then you have to take the theoretical yield of the product and create a percent yield. So this one has the percent yield and the other ones we've done so far didn't have the percent yield. So let's get started. <clears throat> and this one says that uh, ethane, which is C2H6, reacts with chlorine gas, which is Cl2. Remember chlorine is one of those group sevens. It's always diatomic, meaning it always appears in doubles when it's by itself. The main product is uh, C2H5Cl and HCl. So uh, it, this particular reaction will create some other things, but let's assume that uh, these products is all that is uh, created. And that the, and so what we want to do is we want to find out what is the theoretical yield of this particular product given 130 grams of the ethane and 200 grams of the chlorine. And also we want to figure out what is the percent yield if 180 grams is recovered in the lab. So that's the data we have so far. So the first step is going to be to write out and balance the equations. We have the reactants and the products. And so I've got that here for you. There it is. So the reactants we have C2H6 plus chlorine gas turns into C2H5Cl plus HCl. Um, now, looking at this to balance it is kind of nice because you realize that um, you have uh, two carbon, two carbon, six hydrogens, uh, five plus one is six hydrogens, and two chlorine, one plus one is two chlorine. So this is balanced and we don't have to do anything else. So the next step is going to be to convert it to moles. Remember, when you're, whenever you're doing stoichiometry, you always make sure that you have moles. Um, and once you have moles, you can, you can compare and figure out uh, which one's going to run out first, and then you'll know your limiting reactant. So here's our masses. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our masses, and we're going to put them underneath our reactants, and we're going to solve for moles. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's put our masses underneath our reactants and solve for moles. And there it is, just like magic. We have 130 grams of C2. H6 of ethane and 200 grams of chlorine gas. Uh, so in order to convert those to moles, whenever you have a mass, you divide it by its molar mass to get moles. So 130 divided by 30 gives us 4.3. And 200 divided by 71, because 71 is the mass of uh, two chlorines. So we add two chlorines together, and that gives us the total amount of grams for one mole. And we get 2.82 moles. So now the, the way to determine limiting reactant, of course, is to figure out which one's going to run out first. So uh, then that's when we look at the ratio. Well, the ratio here is 1 to 1. And so clearly this one is going to run out first. It's about the easiest ratio you can get. Uh, so you're just looking at it and you're saying, well, obviously this is smaller. So that means that the most I can use of this one is going to be 2.8 moles. I won't be able to use any more of that because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so these have to remain the same. So I'm going to have some excess here. And to figure out the excess, you would just subtract 2.82 from 4.3 moles, and then you could convert it to mass if you wanted to. But see, the, the thing doesn't, even, doesn't ask us for the excess, so we're not going to worry about it. What it does ask us for is it asks us to find the theoretical yield Okay, so theoretical yield is the amount of product you're supposed to get. And so theoretical is the answer you get from doing the stoichiometry. So this particular uh, set of reactants is going to, with this particular amount put in, is going to give us uh, 2.82 moles of the product. And so theoretically, we'll find out exactly how much mass that, uh, that will produce. There it is, right there. So if we put in 2.82 moles of the product, and we know that it's 2.82 moles because it's a one-to-one -one ratio with this one, and this one being the limiting right here, so we can even write that down here. This one is 
limiting my very nice, excellent handwriting. You are jealous. Um, so being that it's limiting, we remember we use the limiting to figure out the amount of moles of everything else. So this is going to have 2.82 moles. And to convert that to mass, we multiply it by the molar mass. The molar mass of this 2 carbon plus 5 hydrogen plus 1 chlorine is going to give us 64.45. Multiply that out, we get a total of 182 grams of the product C2H5Cl2. Now the next thing to do is to, to, to do this problem right here. So what is the percent yield? So the idea with percent yield is that in the lab, you don't get it perfect. You Something happens, some of this turns into something else, or you know some stuff gets in there, combines with it, or it doesn't all react. But one way or another, uh, in the lab, you typically don't get all of what the math tells you should get. So percent yield is essentially saying, uh, what percentage of what I was supposed to get did I get? So the equation for percent yield goes like this. And I've already written that out. Um, <clears throat> the equation for percent yield, let's get rid of that uh, stuff that I wrote in here because I didn't realize I wrote in the same spot. So here's the equation for percent yield. Uh, the idea is that the theoretical, and remember the theoretical is that number you get from doing the math. The theoretical divided by the actual. And so actual is always from the lab. So actual is actually what we get. And so we find out that we have 180 recovered in the lab. So let's go ahead and take and divide the theoretical by the actual, then multiply by 100. And uh, when we do that, here's what we get. Uh, we're going to take 182, that's our theoretical, divide it by 180. And so our actual answer is going to be, you divide that out and then multiply that times 100. And so you're going to end up with 98.9% yield. So the idea is that uh, you're supposed to get 182, you got 180, so you got 98.9% of what you were supposed to get. You got very close. So that's how you solve that particular problem. There's the stoichiometry showing you how to figure out all these other things when you're just giving a little bit of stuff. And a lot of fun arrows and fun colors and... Just a fun time in general. So hopefully that helped you out.